Welcome back. We'll be looking at another trigonometric identity. And this one builds upon what we already know from trying to get the area uh, identity. So let's have that be our starting position. We learned this last time. And we're going to modify it in such a way that we can find a relationship from, for example, uh, the sine of a have a relationship with the side that opposes the the angle a so in order to do that we have to modify these and that means that we're going to use this here and we'll multiply it by each fraction there and then that cleans up to that okay now once we have that you can see what what happens up on top the 2 takes out the 2, for example, the A, the A, and in this case, the C, the C. And, and what do you got left? You got sine B and B right there. See that? And you'll be able to do that for each one. You'll see that the only thing left there is that, and the only thing left there is, well, a little hard. <laughs> okay, but let, let's clean it up with the computer there. All right. So this law of sines can then be used in conjunction with perhaps the law of cosines um, or the area one. Everything that you may need can be used together to solve a problem. So sometimes a simple problem will only need perhaps just this. Uh, another more complicated one may need that together with the law of cosines or the trigonometric one. However you proceed, just be aware that there are many uh, neat little formulas in trigonometry that you can use, the identities and the, uh, just the standard formulas. So don't be afraid of them. They're quite useful. And uh, when you have them all together, the only way you can get through this is just by practice, practice, practice. You have to train your mind to learn how to use these. And there are no shortcuts. After a while, you will start to see patterns. You'll get used to it. Um, for example, if you knew certain things for the you, that you need an area of, and, and maybe you know A and B and C, okay, you use the area one. If you have another situation, you may need the law of cosines. So right now, we're just learning what all the different tools are then it's your job to use those tools so that you can become proficient in using one, two, or three, or all of them at once, okay? It just depends on how hard the problem is. All right, see you next time.